guys, it's Trina and this is my July TBR and I, I had a really hard time making a TBR for this month. I just, I'm kind of like feeling a burnout or something, maybe it's like a mid-year burnout thing, but there are two books I for sure want to make sure I read in July and after I show you those two I'll talk a little bit more about other reading plans. The first thing I know I'll be reading this month is The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Anne Brashares. I'm helping host a read-along for the first four books in this series along with my friends Kayla, Emily, and Sylvia. I'll put a link to the Goodreads group down below where we are running discussions. So I am hosting the first book and we are reading this one from July 1st through July 7th. I think all three of the other hosts are actually rereading it but I am the newbie to the series. I've never read them before so I am definitely going to be reading the first one but I don't know as of right now. I don't know if I can promise to finish the rest of the series within this month because I am feeling that weird burnout. So I'm only putting the first book on my official TBR. I know that there are three big readathons happening in July that I know of, and that these books will fit in perfectly with some of the challenges for those readathons. The other book I am just dying to read right now is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. This is such a bright cover. This is an arc that was sent to me by my friend Megan Precourt. She just happened to grab one at BookCon. And I know I had a bunch of other friends that had gone to the trouble of getting another copy for me too. Megan's happened to be the one that made it to me quickest, but I'm so thankful to everyone that tried to get a copy of this book for me because y'all know how much I love Mini McGinnis. This is coming out in September, so I definitely want to read it and review it before then. From what I know about this book, she has called this a rape revenge story, and this is supposedly going to be tackling rape culture and the way in which women are treated when they are the victims of sexual assault. But the reason I wanted to read a book this month that is taking on rape culture purposefully is because you probably already know I just finished the book Dragonfly and Amber. I just reviewed it in my June wrap up. I've reviewed it on Goodreads and I was so just appalled at the rape culture that was in that book that was being romanticized and I was like this seems like it's going to be a good counter to that. So I will definitely let you guys know how I feel about it once I read it. The rest of my reading plans for this month are going to be pretty non-specific. I do think I'm going to do three goals for myself. This month I want to read one debut novel because I've just been on that debut novel kick lately. So just any debut novel, I want to read one this month. I also want to read one book by an author that's going to be going to Y'all Fest this year. The author lineup was just announced for Y'all Fest and I don't know if I'm going yet. I have no idea, but I'm so bad about reading books by authors that I'm about to go meet and stuff. So I just kind of want to like, you know, get the ball rolling in case I do get to go. If there's an author I'm wanting to meet, I want to get caught up on stuff to have something to talk to them about. So one book by an author that's going to be at Y'all Fest. There are three readathons happening this month. I want to participate in all three of them, but I do so badly at readathons. This is just something I can't keep taking on, but they all sound so fun and I, I want to like be a part of things. So I think what might be fun to do is read a book from each readathon's list of challenges. So instead of trying to meet all the challenges for three entire readathons, because I would be reading nonstop all month long and that burns me out and I'm already feeling burned out, instead I just want to take one challenge from each of those readathons and try to read a book that fits that because a lot of times these challenges are really creative and they get me thinking outside of what I would normally pick up so I do kind of want to utilize that to get my reading juices going because that's the whole intent of a readathon right by the way the readathons I'm talking about are biannual bibliothon Cramathon and Booktubeathon. I'll put their announcement videos with their dates and stuff down below in case you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about. I think I'm comfortable with that as a TBR. So Female of the Species, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, One Debut, One Book by an Author Going to Yaw Fest, and then try to complete one challenge from each of the three July readathons. So that's technically three more goals. So what am I at? Seven? So let me know what you guys are planning to read in July or if you are going to be participating in any of those three readathons or something else. Or definitely let me know if you're going to be reading The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants with me this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the comments. Bye!